So in this video, we'll learn how to control multiple appliances connected with the Xiao C3 board via Matter protocol using ESP0 code. Now, if you're following this channel regularly, which I'll recommend you definitely should, then you must be knowing that I already made a video about what is Matter protocol and how you can create your first Matter compatible device using the Xiao C3 board with the help of ESP0 code. Now, at that time, the ESP0 code was quite a new platform and were having very limited features like you can only add one single device in one computer controller but now in 2024 we got a lot of new updates in ESP0 code and in this video I'll try to cover some of them. So now I'll go and bring the components required for this project and till then you enjoy this ad. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer based software company. Now LTM is not just another PCB designing software rather it's a world class and award winning PCB designing tool that has some features like advanced interactive routing with auto completion, any angle routing bus routing, face and lens tuning, follow me more and much more which makes it an ideal choice for PCB designing by a lot of companies. Along with this, they do also have LTM 365 that not just covers the PCB designing part but also helps with design sharing via web, sharing designs to mechanical team for product design, centralized cloud storage and a lot more. And along with all this, they do have a very useful search engine made just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any components and you will be able to compare its price and availability around the globe. Not only that, you can also get the details about the components like its specifications and data sheet all at one single place. So LTM provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. So do try out all the services right now as you'll be getting a free trial version by just clicking the link mentioned in the description. Happy making. Okay, so now to show the demo of controlling multiple appliances via Matter protocol, here I'll be using the four channel relay module, a Xiao ESP32 C3 development board, four push buttons, and one indicator LED. Now all these components are available for sale on our website at the best prices on internet. The link is in the description, you can buy it from there and get it delivered at your doorstep. Now for getting all the components, we connected them all according to this connection diagram. Now here I made a shield kind of thing on a general purpose PCB which I can easily insert into this 4 channel relay module. So that was all about the hardware part of the project and now let me take you to the ESP0 code platform and let me show you how to interface all the 4 devices on a single ESP board. Okay so for that you need to go to zerocode.espressif.com and here you need to make an account and log into your account. I am already logged into my account so I will click on the home button and here let us click on create new product. Let me give the name of this product as 4 devices, click on start and we are in the platform. So it is a complete 6 step process and in the end you can place the order to get your matter ready hardware device which is ready to be launched in the market. Okay, So this is for the products part but if you want to do it in the DIY project level only well you just need to do it till the 4th step. I'll guide you with everything don't worry. Okay so here is the platform and if you have used the ESP0 code before you must be knowing that there are a lot of options available. Previously there were not uh, these many options available but now we have an air conditioner, blinds, dimmer, wash than refrigerator so all these are the new options then we have a hardware design option as well in which they have introduced a two chip design okay so what happens in two chip design is uh, there are two different microcontrollers out of them one is uh, connected with the cloud and doing all the uh, data exchange thing and other controller is connected with this controller via maybe UART or I2C protocol so they are communicating uh, with hard wired communication and other one is communicating to internet so that's a two chip design and then we have different kind of driver options available now i2c gpio gpio was available i2c pwm uart all these options are available then we have a driver channel option in which we can uh, attach up to five different kind of devices if i click here as you can see we have a lightning fixture that supports five kind of lighting then we have option for the features as well so we have three different features right now brightness color and temperature all three are for the lights okay so these are the options now let me show you how we can add four devices like how we can control four relays for that what i'll do is i'll select the option as gpio like the driver option as gpio because we need to control the gpios and here i'll select the plug option after that let's just click on the next button so this is a step two and here we need to select which chipset we are using. So here we'll be using the ESP32C3 and here I'll select this one. Let's go on to the next step. 
And here is the graphical representation of all the connections, like the LEDs connected to this CPIO, the input button and the output relay. But still, as you can see, we are only having the option of connecting one output relay. We don't have any option for connecting multiple ones. So how we can do that? Well, for that here, as you can see a new option is introduced, which is text mode, which is still in the beta version. So if I click here, as you can see, we got a complete JSON document that got all the configurations about uh, what kind of devices are attached with our ESP board? Is it input or output? Uh, well, where is the button attached? Where is the indicator LED attached? All those configurations are provided here in JSON document. And here we can modify this document and can add multiple devices or multiple push buttons. We can do that here. Okay. Now here in case, if you want to understand what are the parameters and what does it means in this complete JSON document, well, you can go to this explore product documentation and here we'll be getting all the different kind of options. And if you click on it, for example, if I click on button driver, I'll be getting its JSON uh, document or JSON file, you can say, and not only the file, but it also explains what all parameters are meant for, what is their purpose, what kind of values we can provide to it, is it integer, is it string, if it is integer, what's the range of it, everything is provided in this documentation. So you can refer this and you can understand how to configure this document. Now here, this is for only one single button, one single relay and one single uh, indicator LED. But what I'll do is I'll modify it to add four buttons four relays and only one single indicator LED. And here is that document file. As you can see, we got one button, one relay and one indicator LED. After that, again, we got one more button, one relay, one more button, one relay, and again, one more button and one more relay. And all these buttons and relays got the unique GPIO number, which is provided here. Like the first button is attached to GPIO 20. The first relay is attached to GPIO 5. Uh, the uh, indicator LED is uh, connected to GPIO 6. And similarly, the second button is connected to 8 and so on. And here you can choose the active level, whether you want to uh, make it active low or active high that you can define here. So that's the complete JSON document, which I'll be providing in the description of this video so that you can take the the help of this document to make your own four devices controlled uh, project using matter protocol. So after you modify the JSON document, you can click on save and validate and it will save this file here. In case if there is some error, it will show here. Let me just show you if I remove this comma, as you can see, it shows that expected comma. So it compiles in real time, you can say, and give us the notification about the error. So I'll put the comma once again. And let's just click on save and validate. Okay, so after this step, we'll click on proceed to ESP Launchpad. And here we'll select evaluate now in ESP Launchpad. I'll click on it. And now after a few seconds, our firmware is ready to be flashed in our ESP board. And for that, first you need to connect your device with the computer. So I already connected the Xiao C3 board with my laptop. And here I'll click on connect your device. Now make sure you're using the Chrome browser as I'm using here. And now I'll select this, which is the COM port of my Xiao C3 board. Click on the connect button. And here now, first of all, it will erase the flash memory and then later flash the new firmware built by ESP0 code. Okay, so the firmware is successfully flashed onto our ESP board. And here we also got the matter QR code, which we can scan through the Amazon Alexa application to make it control via Alexa. And not only that, you can also make it work with the Google Home, Apple Home, ESP Rainmaker, all those things. Uh, you can find uh, more detail about how to configure with other platforms in the documentation of ESP0 code. But the thing is, you need to have a hub uh, for controlling the devices using matter protocol if you want to control with the alexa or ecosystem you need to have an echo dot if you want to connect uh, control with the apple ecosystem you need to have apple tv or an ipad stuff like that okay so the firmware is successfully flashed and now let me show you the demo of it so here first i connected all the bulbs with the relay module and now i can control those bulb with the help of push buttons connected on this shield so currently it is not connected to internet and not connected to any wi-fi network as well and that status we can see on the indicator LED, like it is blinking very slow so that means that it is not connected with anything so now let me show you how to provide the wi-fi credentials in it and how we can control all the appliances with the help of alexa so to configure it with the alexa we first need to open up the alexa mobile application and here i'll go into devices and here I'll click on the plus icon, click on add devices and here I'll select light and I'll scroll down to the last option called as other. Now here tap on matter, click on yes, click on yes once again and here click on scan QR code. Now I'll scan the QR code shown in the ESP launchpad. Now here this is searching for the devices. Now make sure that Amazon Echo device is nearby this Xiao C3 board. Now, as you can see, the LED blinking pattern changed. That means that this device is being recognized by the Echo Dot. 
Now it says TechSMS device and four component device found and connected already. Now here uh, this is connected with the network on which the Echo Dot device is connected. I don't know why it doesn't show the option for selecting the Wi-Fi access point. But anyways, if it shows up in on your mobile application, make sure you select the same Wi-Fi access point on which the Echo device is connected with. Now let's click on next. And here are all the devices recognized by the Echo Dot. Now we can click on this device, we can set up this device, we can give the name, I'll skip it as of now and let's skip everything and let's do it for all the four devices quickly. So after doing this step for all the devices, we are now ready to use it. So click on the done button. And here are the four appliances recognized by our Alexa via Matter protocol. Now let's just try to interact with them. As you can see the bulb got turned on but here it shows as off because it is reverse logic so I need to change the active low and active high uh, kind of thing but yeah it is working so I will uh, turn on other uh, three bulbs as well okay so I was able to control all the bulbs with the help of the Alexa mobile application and not only we can control with the Alexa mobile app but we can also control with this button and status will be reflected here in the app let me show you so I'll turn on this bulb so as you can see the status is changed to power is off I can turn the button on and the status will change here so it's working and as it is working with the application well it will also work with the echo dot device let me show you a quick demo okay so here is my alexa dot device and here i made two changes first is i changed the pins from normally close to normally open to make sure when it is showing uh, off on the alexa the bulb is actually turned off and the second change is i edited the name of all the devices like for the blue bulb i have written the uh, name as blue light and similarly i have changed the name of all the devices based upon their color now let me show you the demo using this uh, alexa dot device Turn on blue light. Okay. Alexa, turn off green light. Okay. Alexa, turn on yellow light. Okay. Alexa, turn on orange light. Okay. So yeah, that's how you can control multiple appliances via Matter protocol using ESP0 code in which we didn't actually wrote a code. It was just a document file that we provided. So it's kind of a no code platform. So this is still in better version. So what I think is in future, we will have an option of adding multiple devices via graphical user interface only. So we don't need to write even the JSON document. I think this can be possible. And here I'm also expecting how we can send our sensors data to the ecosystem for example if I connect a DST11 sensor I should be able to ask Alexa about hey Alexa what's my room's temperature and it will respond after getting the data from the shower board so that thing I'm expecting like adding the sensors as well so let's see uh, what's the future I don't know what kind of new features we'll get I still don't know but I'll really be excited to check this out because I really love this company as system they come with the new unique boards and also with the new platforms like ESP zero code so I'm truly excited about anything coming from as systems and yeah that was it of the video I hope you liked it I hope you got to learn something new from it and if is it so do click the like button and tell me and YouTube will go them that this video was really good and worth watching and also share your thoughts about this matter protocol and esp0 code down in the comments of the video and let's have a fruitful interaction there and yeah that being said now i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me take sms